Hi, you guys. Here's an example of the Delta math assignment that I'm leaving for you. I'd like you to do 10 of these problems. You're probably going to need some graph paper or I shouldn't say graph paper, some scrap paper so that you can um, get the line for the boundary line. So this is a standard form equation. I'm just showing one example. I just want to show you how this tool works. Um, on my scrap paper, I'm going to use the x and y intercepts method. When x is 0, y is 5. When y is 0, x is 30. Well, this graph is not going to allow me to do a value of 30. So I can't use the intercepts me method the way that I would like. So we need to have another solution, another strategy. OK, I'm going to now solve this equation for y in terms of x. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I get 6y is less than or equal to 30 minus x. And then I'm going to divide each individual term by 6. That gives me y less than or equal to 5 minus x over 6. So that means that I'm going to have to decide what my slope and y-intercept are. If I reverse the order of the two things to the right, I'm going to get y is less than or equal to negative x over 6 plus 5. So my y-intercept is 5. I'm going to plot the point 5 on my graph for right now. Okay. The next thing I need to do is find out what the slope is. Well, when I have negative x over 6, that's the same as saying negative 1x over 6. And so then I can see that the coefficient of x is really negative 1 sixth. So that is a rise of negative 1 and a run of 6. So I'm going to plot the second point. So now I have a line, a boundary line. Notice how these two um, options have now popped up. I can either change the line. Now if I click on that, notice what it does. It changes it to a dotted line. Do I want to use a dotted line in this situation when there's less than or equal to? No. I want it to be a solid line. When there's an equals, then that means the points that are on the line are solutions to this inequality as well. Second thing it asks is, do I want to change how it's shaded? Well, I don't see any shading happening yet on this problem. Since y's are less than or equal to the number, then I'm going to be shading below the line. Less is below the line. More or greater is above the line. So I want to change the shading so that everything is shaded below the line. So now that looks like what I want this to be. So we'll go ahead and we'll submit that answer. And look at that, I got it right. So sometimes when they go through the step-by-step -step explanation, it might not be exactly the same as the way I do, but you can definitely learn something from that. That means I don't know all of the answers and all of the best ways to explain things. Sometimes what you read here might make more sense to you. So definitely go through that even if you got it right. It's a good way to learn something new. Let's try one more because remember we are going to have to do, the next thing you do is you would choose um, new problem. And these are going to be different for everyone. So there's not much we can do about that. Again, standard form equation. I can use the intercepts method when x is equal to 0, y would be equal to 5. When y is equal to 0, x would be equal to negative 10. Do I want to change the line? Yes. And this is a greater than. So I want to make sure it's shaded on top. Uh-oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't use the negative. Okay, so I put the wrong y-intercept. See, it's okay. They showed me my solution, and then they showed me what it was supposed to look like. It's okay. I did not graph the line correctly.